Hi guys. In this video, I would like to show you what the disadvantages are of using uh, an unprotected stator in your thrusters. But first off, I would like to thank everyone who's helped me achieve 100 subscribers. And I would like to thank you for all the kind comments and all the kind replies that I received. Uh, they really helped motivate me, uh, bring more content to you guys. So once again, thank you. Uh, let's get this video started. Um, First, we're going to do a quick uh, visual comparison. Um, we have an unprotected stator here. And by the way, this goes for both outrunners and inrunners. Um, the outrunner has the stator uh, the, on the outside on the shell. Well, this is um, an, uh, an outrunner motor, which has the stator on the inside. Um, so if, you, if we take a quick look at these two stators, you, you, you'll notice right away that um, the protected stator is completely coated in epoxy as opposed to the unprotected stator which uh, has windings uh, bare windings the, the windings are obviously coated in enamel but they provide very minimal protection against uh, ingress such as uh, dust or, or sediment uh, which could cause them cause the enamel to strip once the enamel strips uh, you could potentially you could have uh, most likely will have a short a short between uh, the phases, a short to ground, a short within the phase itself, which can uh, affect the performance uh, and cause a huge performance deficit. But there's also a safety issue here. If you're running a system, let's say above 40 volts, and you don't have certain things in place, such as uh, DC, I'm talking about things that are should be put in alongside your overcurrent protection, your um, and all the all the things associated with battery management system. There are other things that have to be put in place to pr to protect you from uh, from electrocution. When you're dealing with with water, once once your skin is wet, your body resistance reduces significantly, which allows more current to go through your body at uh, lower voltages. So. Please be careful with that. Please take that into consideration if you're planning to go ahead and um, and run uh, systems above 40 volts. Okay, so let's keep going. Let's get um, let's get on with the uh, protected stator. So the protected stator clearly is coated in in, in, in uh, lots of epoxy, and it's in none of the um, windings are exposed. And on the other side. We'll just use this one right here from one of the thrusters that I've made. On the other side of the stator, there's a solder pad and where we solder our wires on. Once we solder our wires on, we can simply fill this entire gap, this entire slot with epoxy and waterproof it. So once we complete that, once we, we make sure that all the electrical, electrical connections are waterproof, we simply put it into the thruster into our casing and we can use it right away uh, without any issues again i don't like to use a higher dc voltage simply out of uh, uh simply for safety uh, because safety issues and the complexity of a system required to run um higher dc voltage so my best advice to you is for now is if you don't know too much about this please uh, keep it simple and um Take your time. Just make sure that you take all the necessary steps. Think things through. You don't have to rush this. And eventually you're gonna come up with something great. And again, thank you so much for all your support. And if you have any questions, please let me know and I will keep, keep bringing more content to you. Thank you.